Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino, post market wrap up on this lovely day. Very lovely. We are going to spread loveliness all around us. We're going to just, you know, just, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Anyway, let's, let's talk, you and me. So, uh, Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. Where to start? How about this? Before we talk about the new record high today for the NASDAQ, yes. The NASDAQ closed at a new all-time record high. Let's look over at the S&P 500, fractional loss, Dow Jones Industrial Average, you know, gave back a little bit. No surprise to you, especially if you uh, followed my work I did this morning, my pre-market report. I explained to you the setup was not great for the market because of the dollar strength. We're going to talk about that because of crude oil. Um, all right. What does it mean? How about nothing? The 10-year yield is, uh, you know, still telling me all systems go, despite the fact that we got not the first, not the second, but the third warning today from Goldman Sachs on the economy. Uh, you know, hold that thought. Before we get there, let's touch on a few other things. Like I said, crude oil under pressure today, and that affects the entire market. That's why there were no gains. I mean, the NASDAQ, okay, barely positive. That's all you needed for a record high, but the broader market, lower. People, I'm going to tell you right now, buy the dips as long as that 10-year yield remains stable where it is. I mean, yes, we are at the top of a range, in my opinion, right now. Uh, I would not be surprised to see it. Uh, the 10-year yield, you know, 1.4, 1.41, some, something around there. It's very possible. But I'm not going to get panicky until it spikes at an uncontrolled pace. And I promise to keep you on top of that. Um, you know, before we talk about Goldman, let's, let's talk about the dollar. Okay, so the dollar today put on a big gain. What are we talking about? When I'm, I'm talking about the Dixie or the dollar Index. This is not, again, a stand-alone index. What does it mean when the, when the Dixie, like today, goes higher? It means today the dollar is uh, the prettiest lady at the ball. However, comma, we're in a massive deflationary uh, or inflationary environment um, with regard to currencies around the world. So they're all losing Purchasing power, okay, that's a fact. I think we all know that henceforth why we're getting record inflation here in the United States and around the world. But when you're looking at the Dixie, and the, I, as you all know, I talk about it all the time. You know, look at the dollar, look at the dollar, the Dixie. It, it's just giving you a gauge as to how the dollar is doing relative to other currencies, you understand? So you got a knee-jerk higher today in the dollar for whatever reason, okay, uh, it doesn't mean that, oh, oh, king dollar, you got to be in the dollar. You got to be nuts, okay? This is just a relative valuation, okay? Very, very simple. I think you understand that because a lot of people don't get it. They write to me and I get, look, I understand these things are kind of complicated, but some people believe that the Dixie, uh, uh, the dollar index is a standalone indicator. It's not. It's relative to other currencies. Okay, I wanted to clear that up again. I talked about this recently, but um, people are confused, and I, and I understand that. I really do. Now, on the back of the dollar here, uh, putting on a lot of strain today, gold got hit pretty hard. Silver got hit pretty hard. Now, let's talk about cryptocurrencies real quick. People, look, um, cryptocurrencies, again, are volatile. We saw a big drop today across the board with regard to cryptos, I mean, Bitcoin, like last time I looked at it, it was down like like 11%. Okay, so what? Is this anything new? Really? We haven't seen this before. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen so you can laugh. Um, look at some of the comments that are going to be put here. It's the same people who are trying desperately to prove themselves correct. Oh, this is the end. Bitcoin's going to zero. You know, these same people, honestly, have never been right, not once, ever. And they continue to miss opportunities. To me, 
to Greg Manorino right here and now, what am I going to tell you? This is opportunity, all right? You want to get buy these assets when they are volatile, just like this, when they drop. I've been telling all of you to buy the dips in everything, if I don't know, for years. Uh, tell me when in all the years I've been telling you to do it, it hasn't worked. Uh, it's obviously a very good strategy, okay? Now, with that said, again, watch the comments. Bitcoin's going to zero. These same ignorant people, and I feel bad for them because I want to help them, but they, they can't help themselves. If they can't help themselves, well, then they're just done here because they've, they've continually missed this. When I had said to buy Bitcoin around around 3000 about 2700 bucks. These same people came out and told me, you're wrong, it's going to zero. <laughs> I'm still waiting uh, after it has put on an incredible gain since that time. Uh, anyway, so with regard to Dash, yeah, uh, Dash has been extremely volatile. Uh, I said to stop buying it around 280. Uh, we did put on an initial gain. We dropped down to about 110. I told all of you, buy the dips. If you did, you're sitting pretty. I bought that dip big time. Uh, and I expect this to happen with cryptos. They are volatile. And like I always tell you, the space is not for everyone. It's, it's kind of an interesting animal. Okay, now gold and silver today, people look, buy the dips here too. That's my opinion. Do your own research. Look up the Dow gold ratio, the gold silver ratio, understand what's going on around you. Um, the what, what central banks are doing, what they will continue to do, buy assets, inflate the debt. We do realize that metals are rigged. There's no price discovery mechanism whatsoever. And we also know who it is. Everybody knows who this is. It's no secret on the street, Wall Street, off the street. The Commodities Exchange realizes it. Uh, they will not do anything. It's all part of the, the scheme, whatever you want to call it. But again, like I always tell you, in my view, let be happy when you see gold and silver fall like today. Let them play their game. We're going to play our game. Do you believe that physical silver was dumped onto the market today and that's what drove the price? Or do you understand that this is the derivative that we're talking about? Okay. Um, and it's a twisted mechanism. I get it. Uh, how a hard asset derives value from a derivative. It's upside down. It's upside down for a reason. So they can rig it. Period. So... In my opinion, you keep buying. You keep buying uh, in this environment. And again, like I always say, do your own research. So um, that covers the assets today, what happened with the market and, uh, you know, metals and the dollar and cryptos and crude oil. Um, okay, let, let us move forward. So we got, again, the third warning, third, from Goldman Sachs on the economy. Specifically, they are saying the consumer is weak. Imagine my shock. Um, and they expect GDP, gross domestic product, to continue to contract. So let's, let's talk about what that actually means. We already understand, and I've told you this a gazillion times, I don't know, for a, a long time now, that our economy is contracting at a rapid pace um, looking at our debt to GDP ratio. So if Goldman Sachs is explaining to you here, and you know, obviously, I mean, look, this is glaring in our face, duh. Uh, for Goldman Sachs to come out and, and, and say this, that our economy uh, is not doing so well, and this has been followed up by several other Wall Street banks. I mean, this is the truth, uh, duh. Again, uh, if they're explaining that uh, they're, they're downgrading their forecast on GDP. What does that mean? It means our economy is going to tra contract faster um, and you can expect the bad economic news to continue. So what's the mechanism here? Very, very simple. Um, the market's going higher in this environment. The Fed cannot and does not want to taper ever, ever, okay? Even hypothetically, if the Fed were to taper, first of all, I told you how this is going to play out. The Fed will nudge the federal funds rate 
higher first or the overnight lending rate between institutions. That's what they're going to do first. I also said if the Federal Reserve chooses to nudge the federal funds rate, I don't know, a fraction of a fraction, I think the stock market's going to respond positively. Yes, I do. I know a lot of people are probably shaking their head saying no, but it has nothing to do with tapering or cutting back on assets, okay? The Federal Reserve asset purchases are going to continue to be off the Richter scale and then beyond the Richter scale. You understand? But that's, that's how it's going to play out. First, we're going to get a nudge in the federal funds rate, whenever that may be. Uh, the market will love it, in my opinion. And um, the taper ain't happening. It ain't happening for a very long time, especially in light of what's happening. Our economy is contracting at a rapid pace. Uh, as a percentage of GDP, our economy is done. It's, it's in free fall, and it can only accelerate from here. It actually can't even turn around. There's no mechanism here to turn the economy around whatsoever, and it's not meant to. The Federal Reserve is allowing this entire thing to manifest itself, in fact, pushing it in that direction so they can fulfill their final solution to own it all, to be the world government, uh, to be the lenders and buyers of last resort, to create slaves uh, on a global scale, not just nation slaves, but individual slaves. You all know this, people. I mean, this is so in your face, all this information. Anyway, um, I hope you get it. Remember to laugh when you see the comments in this video about Bitcoin and the other cryptos. The same crowd is out, going to be out right now. <laughs> Zero. Oh, they've been wrong every time. Every time. They've never been right, not once. And they're not going to be right again here. And I'm going to laugh. Just like this. I'll see you all in the morning. All right, please share the video. I'm out.